Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today we're making three homemade salad dressings. Some's in the kitchen with Dinah. Some's in the kitchen I know. Some's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. Well, thanks to a viewer's request of asking for some scratch homemade dressings for your salads, I thought I'd share three with you today. I've already brought you um, poppy seed, which the link is right up here. That one is still in my fridge and it's still delicious. Um, all of these are pretty much pantry ingredients or things that you would have on hand and they're not full of any um, weird preservatives and anything else. So Shannon, this one's for you. I hope you're watching and enjoy all, enjoy all of these. And in the description below, I will have all of the recipes as I always do. So let's get started. So I always have just um, a jar here and that's what I mix most of my dressings in. This one starts out with a quarter cup of sour cream. And this is the ranch. I don't know if I said that. So we're starting with ranch. So we got a quarter cup of sour cream. Normally I'd eyeball it, but for you guys, I'm actually measuring. We've got a half a cup of mayonnaise. We have a half a cup of buttermilk. And this is one instance where you really want the buttermilk because it is called buttermilk ranch. It is super delicious. We have a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then we have an eighth teaspoon of pepper. An eighth teaspoon of salt. We have a half a teaspoon of dried parsley. a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of dill, and a half a teaspoon of onion, onion powder. So once you get all of that in there, I just take my lid, screw it on nice and tight, give it a good shake. mama making something you have to come see what's going on <laughs> what's she doing all right and that is it it's nice and creamy it's great for veggies you can throw it on a salad you can put it on your pizza so that's it you can just keep it in the fridge and that is ranch dressing so our next dressing is just a basic vinaigrette I used this one when I catered weddings and it was a huge hit. Everybody was talking about it. I did a pasta bar and had this on the salad to go with it. And it was so delicious. It's super easy. There's five ingredients. So I've got my jar again. I've got a half a cup of oil and I'm just using a light olive oil. Got a half a cup of red wine vinegar. Got two teaspoons of sugar, some garlic, I think it's like one clove, and I've got two teaspoons of salt. So throw your lid on and shake it. This one you don't want to keep in the fridge because of the oil, it will thicken but I keep mine in the fridge and then just bring it out a little bit before I serve it and the oil kind of comes back to not being solidified. So. so that is it. That's how easy that vinaigrette is. It already smells delicious. It's pretty zippy. Oh man, I think this would be good just with like cucumbers and fresh tomatoes from your garden. That'd be delicious. So there is your basic vinaigrette. All right, so let's move on to our next one. The third dressing we're making is your wonderful Italian dressing. So this one, we start with a dry mix that you can keep in your cupboard and then add oil and vinegar to it when you're ready to serve it. So let's get started on the ingredients. I have a tablespoon of garlic powder and I'm just keeping it in a little jar in the cupboard. So whatever jar you have, um, a tablespoon of onion powder, 
we have a tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of dried oregano. Let's see if I can get these in. I almost need a funnel. We have a teaspoon of black pepper. We have a quarter teaspoon is such a tiny bit of thyme, dried thyme. We have a teaspoon of basil. A table, let's see, we have a tablespoon of dried parsley. Gives us some nice green color. And we have a quarter teaspoon of celery salt. A little bit of that makes a big difference, let me tell you. And then we have two tablespoons of salt. So there's that. And I'm just gonna use the back of my measuring and just stir it up here. So if you've got any recipes that always call for the Italian um, dressing, you can use this too. So mix this up, stick it in your cupboard and you've got Italian seasoning ready for that. So now let's turn it into dressing. So I've got my little jar again, and now I've got a quarter cup of white vinegar. Then I've got two thirds of a cup of oil again. Got two tablespoons of water. And then out of your dry powder, we're just gonna use two tablespoons of this. So I just kind of give it a stir and two tablespoons go into that. So this you can just keep in your, um, your cupboard and write on there what you need, a quarter cup of vinegar and two thirds cup of oil and then your water and just I just keep it in my cupboard like that. So I've got it all right here. This is super easy. This also makes a great meat marinade. So then we're just gonna shake this up. And in about three minutes, you got homemade Italian dressing. It is delicious. This one too, you wanna keep in the fridge, so. Good shake, make sure you get it all mixed up good. Now I got this on so tight, I can't get it off. Okay, let me show you this one. That one is delicious. You see it in there? There we go. So the only other thing I'd wanna share with you are these great um, lids. I find them on Amazon. It's not sponsored or anything. You screw them on, they come in wide mouth and small mouth, and it's just a, spore, a pour cap lid, and I stick these on my dressings and they pour out great. When you pour it out of these containers, it's a little messy. So show you, I have it still on my poppy seed dressing. I made a few episodes ago with the, um, the lemon chicken and the grilled berry salad. This was the poppy seed dressing and I just keep these in on the fridge and then they pour out really great. Anyway, thank you Shannon for asking for these recipes. They've been on my to-do list as far as videos go. So I hope you guys enjoy these and make these. Tell me what is your favorite dressing to put on your salads? Cause I always find it interesting if people like Italian over a vinaigrette versus ranch. Thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen. I hope you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget to turn on the bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next episode. Oh, and I'm on. You are. We're okay. Going. Awesome. Um, be sure not to touch here a lot today. Try not to. Because that was a, yeah, seriously. Like just, this? Yeah, and bring it into the camera if you want. You know, you can bring it up. Whoa! <laughs> It's a Can I have my? Then there she dumped it out on the thing. This oh. one, so many people commented when I made it for the wedding. To have all natural ingredients and no preservatives and know that you're not going to put belly in a cavity. Tell y'all no, but da da. Gonna taste good, I know.